In 1996, our fearless leader turned his back on the Prime Ministerial Lodge in Canberra for some prime real estate. Let's walk. Yeah, nice to meet you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yep, I'm power walking Johnny Howard style. After all, I'm on the Prime Minister's home turf, Kirribilli, right on Sydney Harbour. And right now, it's my home too, because I'm staying in a lodge just down the road. We're almost neighbours. Well, it's not the lodge, but it is a lodge, Glen Ferry Lodge, and it's honestly only about a stone's throw to John Howard's place. Not that I'd be throwing any stones with all that security. Might get in a bit of strife. It's really homey here. There's 70 rooms, but it doesn't feel super big, and it's good value for money. Yep, even after you've paid your income tax, Glen Ferry Lodge is definitely within just about everybody's budget. Just wait till I tell you the price. Hmm, not bad at all. For the price, it's got everything you need. Comfy bed, hot breakfast, bargain. Didn't think I was going to tell you the price yet, did you? There's heaps more to see before that. And seeing the sights is cheap too. No wonder the PM walks everywhere. It's fair to say that this coffee and cake have one of the best views in Sydney and you can burn off the calories and the cake at the pool next door or, if you fancy, lose the lot on a ride at Luna Park just over there. <laughs> yep, I'm starting to see why Johnny likes this place. Now, with the money you'll save staying at Glen Ferry Lodge, you can splash out for a very liberal feed. I hear this is the PM's favourite spot. Santosh here even delivers to his house. John's a nice bloke. Oh, he's very nice. He's very nice. He's like a normal person. He's not, not like a big mind like a Prime Minister. He like also the spicy Bombay beef. Oh, it's very spicy. It's very spicy. That's why, that's why he's very hot in the Parliament House oh, all the time. Think it's because he's Bombay beef? Yeah, Bombay beef. Fantastic. Yeah. Bombay beef <laughs> is running our country. Yeah, running the country. <laughs> yeah.